what is going on guys it is your boy piston rods here and i'm doing a product review of the speed and strength lunatic fringe armored vest armored vests are really popular right now especially the icon striker vest which i also own um and then i saw this guy and i had to pick it up because it looks so so sick it's so aggressively styled um there are so many cool features on it and when you put it on you just feel like a complete badass so to talk about some of the features of it, there's uh, side straps here, fits just about anyone, real generous. On the inside, there's some nice graphics and really, really soft material as well. On the front chest piece, this is not hard plastic. It feels very similar to CE armor, but it is not CE rated for the front. Then on the sides here, there's some of these little molded pieces in carbon fiber. They don't really do any protection or anything for you. They're just there for styling. But again, it just adds that really, really sick look. And on the top here on the other shoulders, there's some um, straps that you can put things on. I don't know really what you would do, but the adjustability of the straps, they're Velcro. And there's so much more adjustability on this than the actual Icon Striker. Back plate talking about that really really thick material this is CE level 1 rated material and you can see here there's it vents through and it's just a really really hefty piece I mean you feel very well protected with this vest on and this is a really cool feature the LEDs easy to access with gloves on it flashes three different types of patterns awesome looking but the downfall of it is its quality. I mean, look at the front chest piece here. There's pitting on the molding of it. On the sides here, on the stylized pieces, there's all these little dents, these little weird vacuums. I don't know what they're there from. It just doesn't look like a, you know, a quality piece, especially for something that's priced basically the same as the Icon Striker back portion there's all these wavy bits around the actual logo speed and strength don't know what that's about either and then the back plate itself looks like it's glued on and as you kind of come out of the bottom of it you can see part of it is already peeling and i haven't even worn it very much outside oh and the lights that were really sick malfunctioning already look at that And then there's nothing to really anchor the actual vest together. No buckles or anything, just Velcro. So if you crashed in it, you could possibly come apart. So that's it guys. Really, really sick looking piece. It's just too bad they didn't have the quality on it. If they did, I would have been keeping it. But as it is right now, I can't recommend this vest. If you guys got any questions, leave them down below. Um, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.